One of the hardest hit areas today we've been showing you all day is uh, St. Tammany Parish. Uh, Parish President Mike Cooper joins us on the phone. Thank you for joining us. I've got to ask you, when was the last time you saw such extensive damage from a storm in your area? Uh, this is, thank you for having me uh, this afternoon. Uh, it's been some time. Uh, Hurricane Ida, of course, uh, was, I can say the last time. That was just a few years ago. I was in office and the, what we're experiencing today primarily is uh, wind damage in the East St. Tammany area, uh, high water in our local and large rivers, local drainage features and large rivers, uh, which have yet to crest. Uh, but we're seeing uh, pretty widespread dam damage, home damage, uh, that uh, it's, just, it's just incredible what, what we're seeing today. Uh, we were we're prepared for, for bad weather today, but quite unexpected uh, hard hit with the amount of rain and the, the extent of the winds uh, and, the, and the structure damage. Do you have any injuries? No report, well, no reported major injuries. We've had some injuries uh, as a result of uh, uh, trees falling on homes and, and other uh, incidents uh, because of the bad weather, uh, but no, uh, no major injury, no serious injuries. What do you want to say to your um, constituents tonight for those who have no place to stay tonight? What are the resources, if you can hit on those again, that are available for them? Certainly. We have two, we have two shelters open, uh, the Lacombe Rec Center in, in the Lacombe uh, community and Creekside Junior High School in the Pearl River area are both open and equipped for uh, overnight stay. Uh, and we set those up. We do have, uh, we do encourage our citizens to stay off the highways as there's our public works department, fire district one personnel, or removing trees and debris from our roadways. So there's, uh, they're down power lines, uh, over 30,000 customers were reported earlier uh, by, by Clico that, that, that were out of service. So there's still a lot of work to be done and power is going to be out for, the, for many customers uh, through the evening and throughout the night. So I ask our citizens to be patient. The weather has uh, subsided and is clearing up, but there's a lot of cleanup to do, and uh, we just ask our citizens to be patient. Mike, uh, Bruce Katz wants to jump in and ask you a question. Hey, Mike. Uh, sure. Yeah, over in Slidell, uh, you know, a little after 10 o'clock this morning, we were tracking that wind field, which likely was a tornado, but we're not going to get the official, really, estimate until the Weather Service goes out and does their surveys. But from your opinion of what you've seen over in that area, what you've heard, maybe talking to Slidell, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, when you see debris thrown in different directions, that's more of a twister type situation as opposed to a straight line wind where everything is lying in the same direction and you've got no debris anywhere else. So what are your thoughts on that? You know, uh, your residents, I'm sure you've talked to them and really more officials to the Weather Service, your thoughts on that. I don't want to say confirmed tornado because I want them to go out and do their survey swath. But if I would have had to say from the damage, likely a tornado. So your thoughts? Certainly, uh, I did see pine trees twisted. Uh, in, it was widespread in the, in the Slidell area, South Slidell, north of Slidell, in the Alton area. Uh, there were quite a few instances across St. East St. Tammany Parish where trees were downed as a result of strong winds and gusts. So, uh, you know, others have called it a tornado, uh, but I've, I've seen sustained damage uh, widespread in that area. Right, right. So Weather Service, they'll go out, do their survey swath, give us an idea of what they think. And, um, you know, again, nevertheless, whatever it was, the wind damage, many people now without homes, uh, you know, roofs have been ripped off and uh, our hearts go out to those people. And, uh, you know, hopefully shelter wise, you all have some stuff and, you know, some some things that will help those people. But um, fortunately, in your area, the rain is beginning to move on out. But uh, there's a lot of clean up, clean up effort to go beyond that point. So, Liz, Meg, we're going to toss it back to you all. Any more questions? Um, Mr. Cooper, one thing I did ask, wanted to ask you, you said the rivers have yet to crest. Explain what that means for your residents. Those are the major rivers, such as the Bogofalaya River in Covington, the Little Trefuncta River, or the Trefuncta River in the Covington area, uh, the Bogachita River, and the, the Pearl River. Those are all going to swell 
and crest or, or continue to rise uh, throughout the night and going to reach the crest sometime tomorrow or even later uh, at different stages, uh, moderate, to, uh, moderate uh, to, to major flooding stages. So we'll keep our uh, public in, informed about that through our public information office and through the lo local news media such as yourself. All right, St. Tammany Parish President Mike Cooper, thank you, Mike, so much for your time. We appreciate it.